In this problem, we're given three complex numbers labeled A, B, and C with the following relationships A squared equals B minus C, B squared equals C minus A, and C squared equals A minus B. Our goal is to find the possible values of the sum of A, B, and C. When A, B, and C are zero, we find that each equation holds because both sides equal zero. Thus, the sum of A, B, and C equals zero is one valid solution. Next, let's explore whether there are any other possible solutions by examining different values for A, B, and C that might satisfy these equations. With the given conditions, we have the following relationships. Let's consider the cubes of A, B, and C to gain further insight. From our equations, we can derive Adding these three equations together, we find that a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals zero. Summing these three expressions, we find that a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed also equals zero. Now, we explore the product a squared times b squared times c squared. Expanding this product, we get Further simplification gives us We'll now let the sum of A, B, and C equal K, and analyze two cases. In case one, if the product of A, B, and C is not zero, then we find that A times B times C equals negative K. In case two, if A times B times C equals zero, Now, let's expand the square of the sum of A, B, and C. Since A squared plus B squared plus C squared is zero, the sum of the products A, B, B, C, and C, A equals K squared divided by two. In case one, we assume that the product of A, B, and C is not zero, this implies that A times B times C equals negative K. We also observe that A, B, and C are roots of the polynomial given by X cubed minus K times X squared plus K squared over two times X plus K equals zero. By substituting A, B, and C into this polynomial, we get Summing these three equations yields zero minus k times zero plus k squared over two times k plus three k equals zero, which simplifies to k cubed equals negative six times k. Since k is not zero, this leads us to conclude that k equals plus or minus i times the square root of six. In case two, we assume that the product of a, b, and c equals zero,
find valid solutions where the sum of a, b, and c equals zero. After analyzing both cases, we conclude that the possible values of the sum of a, b, and c are plus or minus i times the square root of six and zero, as shown in our results. We verified these solutions by solving the polynomial which yields distinct complex roots that satisfy all our conditions. This concludes our solution. Thank you for following along and remember, analyzing cases and using symmetry are powerful strategies when solving complex equations. Please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more intriguing math problems.